This is Janine Pettit, brand ambassador for Campco and founder of Girl Camper. I'm here at Campco headquarters down in Greensboro, North Carolina. One of the things Campco does is they solve problems that RVers have. And I've solved a few of my own today on my little adventure through the warehouse. And I wanna share those things with you. You know, when we buy equipment for our RVs, it's an investment we make in our vacation and our future in this lifestyle. And we really wanna protect those investments. One of the things that's been driving me nuts is all the different Rubbermaid containers in the belly of my camper in which I store water hoses and electrical cords. And I just went through the warehouse and I pulled out some things that are gonna make my investments last longer and my storage in the underbelly of my camper make more sense. I'm gonna be able to open that up and grab what I need. So let me start here by showing you a couple of items that I've used for a while now and how much I love these. I hope you can see this sweet little bamboo table right here. This is a Camco product that's very popular. I've had it for a couple of years. Believe it or not, this handy little side table all packs up into this little bag. The bags that Camco makes are so durable. The fabric is so heavy. It's kind of a breathable poly. All of the zippers are very heavy duty nylon, so they are not gonna break. All of the um, strapping that comes on these is tightly woven and they're double stitched and seamed at what they call the stress point. In every sewing project, there's a stress point. Camco knows what the stress point is because those are really reinforced. I'm gonna be able to throw this little table in the belly of my camper and keep it from being scratched, but also know that it's gonna last me for years. This is the coolest thing. But did you know leveling jacks and leveling blocks, I should say, are for way more than your camper? We have been leveling the picnic table, even our chairs. These tables that we're on right now with these stackable leveling blocks. The leg of your picnic table goes right into there. So maybe you're on a slopey site like we have been here and you need to bring it up. What I love about this is these are not loose now in the bottom of your camper or the back of your truck. They fit into this nice little carrying bag. And when I get to a campsite and I know I'm gonna need to do some extra leveling, I can just grab this. This is a power grip bag. This is a nice size bag. It's got the really great stitching, zipper, handles that all of the Campco bags have. But for years now, I have had my power cord just wrapped in a circle. I wrap it like this. I tie it with a little zip tie thing. And then I put it in a container. Now I'm going to be storing it in this. It zips from both sides. I can grab it. Now when I get to the campground and I'm going through my system in my mind, first thing I wanna do is check that pull with my power defender, make sure I have good electric. Then when I hook it up, I'm not searching under there. I just grab this and I go. So what a great way to carry, not just your power cord for your camper, but extension cords that you carry, any kind of electric. This bag is good for so much more than just electrical supplies though. You know, your cornhole tossers, any games your kids are playing at the campground. You could throw all your party lights. When you take your lights down off your awning, that's another thing. I'm always looking for a place to put those. So throw all your party lights in here. A million different uses for that bag. I don't know how I didn't know that Camco made this, but this is heavenly. This looks like a great airline bag. If you, <laughs> you could actually use this for double duty, but this is their power grip bag. So there's all kinds of things we need for electric when it comes to the campground. So this has a zipper going all the way around the bottom. So I've already opened that. Look what's in the bottom of this. The power defender, because we want to have surge protection. We want to make sure our pole is good. Here is a 50 to 30 dog bone. Here is another dog bone. And this is for your garage. So if you're plugged in at home, it's 215 amps. So if you wanna plug in the night before, cool down your fridge, all of these things fit in this bag. Each campground situation might um, present a different problem that you need to solve with electrical. So this is all down here. 
has a carrying strap that comes with it. There are Velcro little um, sides in here, so I can adjust these things to fit all the things. Now, this comes over right here, zips all around, and then the inside of this bag is my power cord for the camper. This is something that I have never had a container for. So here is heavy duty extension cord, your power supply for the camper, any other thing that you might wanna put in here. And it has a great strap, it has a Velcro here, so it's very easy to carry. I love the idea that you arrive at the campground and you just pull this out of the belly of the uh, beast here and you're on your way. Everything is here. When you have a place for everything and you put everything in its place, your chances are much better that you're gonna get to the campground and you are gonna have everything that you need. So, love that. Nobody does hoses better than Camco. This is a new one. Oh, and I love the mesh bag that this comes in. So, this is one of their Evo hoses and this is the Evo Flex 2. So, as you can see, this is like a fabric hose. So. You can plug this in at the campground. It's gonna fill up, get your water. Then you're gonna be able to hose, uh, empty this thing, put it back together like this. It's going to be wet because it is a fabric. So you're gonna put it in this little bag. When you buy this, it comes with this bag. Pull string right there that tightens the mesh bag. Also, super easy to identify when it's in your um, camper. You know what I forgot to tell you about these? This power grip in this bag, they are sold separately. So you can buy that power grip for any um, use that you wanna apply to. If you're like most RVers, you've got a fresh water hose, you've got a sanitation hose. So you're at the dump station. Sometimes there is a hose, sometimes you're cleaning someplace that is not. You know, maybe you're at your own campsite and not the dump station. So you're gonna need your own sanitation hose this is a great bag that Camco makes, and it is really nicely reinforced there, but the top of it is mesh. So you can see the sanitation hose is orange. You don't want to mix those things up, but they also have these great fabric tags on them that say sanitation. If somebody else were using your camper, if you were renting your camper on some platform, you're not going to have somebody use the wrong hose. I love that. Here it is for your freshwater drinking hose. That goes in there too. It also has a tag. Just super easy to carry. Go where you're going with that. In addition to the hose, all your attachments for the hose can go in here. Your um, water regulator, any uh, nozzles that you might have, splitters you might have. You can put all the things you need, even your water filter, just stick them in there. Then when you go to set up, grab your water bag and everything is in it. I love that one. This is my favorite stove. I've had this now five years, I think. 100% stainless steel. For some reason, I never had the bag for it until last year, and I love this bag. It comes and it is it is actually sold separately. And what I love about that is that, like so many things we do when we're camping, maybe this is not your stove. Maybe you've got a different stove that you really love, but this holds the propane canister on the side. This bag is so well made. When you invest in a beautiful piece of equipment like that, you don't want it banging around in the back of your truck or in the belly of your camper. So I love this bag. It's got the Velcro handle here as well. And now I can clean this up. This is really a great thing to have in national parks where they're really concerned about bears and things like this. You don't want the smell of grease. You really have to clean out your stove every time you use it or your grill, then pack it away in there in the back of your truck. This is sold separately, so if you want to buy this bag and use it for something else, I'm sure you're going to find some use for it because it's really nicely made. So whatever grill you have, that's a good bag for it. Okay, another one of my favorite Camco products. I've been using this for about five years now. They call it the deluxe grilling um, table. I call it Camp Kitchen. This does so many things. Now, I use the top of this for setting up. I have a cutting board on mine. I keep my ice maker over here. I keep storage things down here. Maybe I have a cooler with my drinks. 
I can also put my refrigerator on this. But anyway, this thing folds down so easy. I show, We did another video on it, so go back and look for that. This thing is a piece of equipment I wouldn't want to go without, and it comes with this incredible bag as well. So when you purchase the table, you get this bag. It's very easy. The zipper comes down the side, so you're not wrestling with this thing to try to get your portable kitchen in there. Super nice, stores easily in the back of your truck or the belly of your camper, and this is a beautiful piece of equipment, and that bag is gonna protect it for years and years to come. Now, I wanna draw your attention to the mat we are standing on. This is an awning mat. This is my new one for this year. I'm going a little light and bright this year. Last year, I was the black and white bandana. Every time I posted it on Instagram, I got people besieged me. Where'd you get that mat? So we'll see what happens with this mat. It makes me happy. It's super cheerful. But here's what I really love about it. This is something that can be purchased separately. So if you were like me and had bought many mats over the years that never came with bags, this will hold it. So this is a bag that um, Camco sells. I love that it has a pocket up front here so you can put your steaks. These have loops on every corner for a steak, but I also have the Camco tie downs. It's a little clip that goes right into the ground with a long aluminum nail to keep us from tripping or for the thing to keep blowing up. This has a mesh bottom. So when you pack this thing up, and maybe it's a little wet and it's a little dirty, you fold it all up. Any debris that comes out is going to filter through that and it's going to drain out if you had to pack it up on a wet day. Let's just say you were going to take this to the beach and, or the pool or whatever. You're going to take it on a picnic or tailgating. This thing has a crossbody strap on it. So you actually could just carry this like this, like it's a guitar, and just carry this and your hands are free. These things are not very heavy. Considering this is a 9 by 12 mat, it's pretty lightweight. Here's what I love about this bag. Like so many of the other bags here, there's so many things you could do with this bag besides carry your awning mat in it. We were testing today two armless folding chairs fit in here nicely. It has a clasp on the top, it draw a drawstring with a little bungee clip on it. So I think you could take this to the pool with you, throw a bunch of beach toys in it, inflatable things that the kids want to use, pool toys, dirty towels because it does have an airflow in the back. It would make a great laundry bag. So this is a bag that does not only double duty, triple, quadruple, quintuple duty at the campground. This is Janine Pettit, brand ambassador for Campco, founder of Girl Camper, and we're making life better at the campsite. Camco. Dot net. Dot net. Dot net.